Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing tonight? Are you ready for your last experience of the module? Yes, okay, great. Thank you very yeah. much. Seems, uh, uh -huh. Now I'm getting people. All right, so as you can see, I am wearing black because I am sad. This is our last class. So uh, I'm not gonna see you anytime soon, I think. But uh, I'm always going to be at your service, okay? Now, let's get it ready, guys. Uh, today, I need to take the attendance. So, you know the drill. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera, not present. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Present. Okay, I see you. Thank you very much. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Not present. Okay. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Daniel. Ah, I está. Okay. Uh, I need to. Do you have your microphone on? Okay. Um, por motivos de auditoría, Daniel Edgardo, ahí está, pero por algún motivo no le escucho, pero sí, ahí está. Next one, Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. Thank you, Gladys. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Not here. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. Okay. I see you. Thank you very much. Give me a second. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Ernesto. Hola. Ah, oh, okay, there you are. Okay, thank you very much. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Thank you. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Marcela. Not present. Roxana Metilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos García Laides. Present. Thank you, sir. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Present. Thank you. Abner Alexis Rivas. Present. Okay, mm. thank you, Abner. Morena oh. Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. There you are. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. There you are. Celia Carmina Pineda Avalos. Celia, not here. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Present. Thank you, Karen. And last but not least, Sara mm -hmm. Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Not here. Okay, guys. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now what I need is uh, to ask you the following. Did you receive the email? Yes. All of you. Yes, I did. Has yeah. somebody not received the email? Let me check. <coughs> I just need to make sure that you have it because that way we're yeah. going to have time. Um, to report it. Yeah, we have. Okay. I have. All right. Fantastic. So we're going to do that. Don't do it yet. We're going to do it exactly at 9 p.m. after we take the attendance. Okay. So try to keep all of your documents ready and make sure that is the same information that you provided when you enrolled to the program. That's, that is, this is very, very, very important. So as far as yesterday's topic, what was yesterday's topic? Uh, <clears throat> what did we talk about yesterday? 3D printing. 3D printing. 3D printing, uh huh. Augmented reality. Augmented reality. Virtual reality. Virtual, uh huh. 
virtual reality. 3D and body scanner. 3D body scanner, that's right. Cell server cannabis. Correct. And what was like the main topic? What were we talking about? Why, um, why, why were we talking about this? Digital about the e-commerce. Uh -huh. So that's pretty much the influence of technology in e-commerce. Do you think uh, that this influence is gonna be a big in the future? Yes. Yes. Why? Why do you think this influence is going to be big in the future? Because it's going to, we'll, mm -hmm. it's going to make the things easier for the customer. Good. Simple as that. It is going to make the things easier for the customers. All right. So um, today, let's go ahead and start with today's topic because, oh, by the way, um, who has actually started the um the, the the final test already who what who has okay. started um, the final test i started me too okay I started too all right thank you very much the reason why i'm asking guys is that the deadline they, they let us know that today that the deadline is tomorrow at noon okay so um, if you have time, and I'm telling you this before we start, and in Spanish, so there are no uh, hesitation. Ahora, después de la clase, si ustedes quieren, nos quedan, bueno, no en la clase, ya. Yeah. Pero yo me puedo quedar ayudándoles. Yo la verdad prefiero, con toda honestidad, que se queden unos 20 minutos más. Mientras hacemos el, o sea, hacen ustedes el examen y me expresan sus dudas, yo voy a estar aquí en la compu eh, brindándoles soporte. Así nos aseguramos de que ya todos lo tienen para el sábado al mediodía. Porque si se van a dormir y trabajan y todo eso, su proceso no va a estar terminado. Y necesito mandar la nota a las 12. ¿A qué hora necesito mandar la nota, guys? A las 12. At noon. At noon, exactly. So it has to be at noon. Yes or yes. Ok. ¿Tienen ustedes la disponibilidad de quedarse luego de clases para que podamos trabajar en el examen? ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok, so voy a estar dándole soportes por chat, nuevamente, no aquí en la sesión, pero sí voy a estar por chat y no les voy a dar las respuestas porque no es chepia, ¿ok? Pero si tiene, mire, no me acuerdo de tal cosa, vaya, es de esta manera, pum, les mando el mensaje. ¿Ok? Así que no esperen copia de mi parte que no va a pasar. Ok, so let's get it started. And um, I'm getting a few messages on my WhatsApp. I'm going to be answering them um, uh, later on today, okay? No worries. Let me see anything else. Nope, I mentioned everything I had to mention. So let's go ahead and start with today's class. I'm going to be sharing the, the material. Here, read it with me, please. Summarize. 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 Three. <clears throat> Pronunciation, three. <clears throat> Three. Three. Three major challenges retail stores will face as e-commerce grows. Three, Three major, major challenges retail stores will face as e-commerce grows. Grow. Commerce grow. That's right. Challenge, j, challenges. 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 That's right. Challenges. Grows. Grows. Good. I need a volunteer to read this. Roxana, thank you for raising your hand. Go for it. Uh, Summaries, three major challenges retail stores will face as e-commerce grows. Nice, nice ending sounds. So here, summarize. 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 That's great. Next one, formulate three tips about future challenges associated to e-commerce for retail stores. Everybody, go. Great. Volunteer. Oh, thank you, Alison. Thank you very much. Go for it, please. 
formulate three tips about future challenges associated to e-commerce for retail stores. Great, thank you very much. Nothing to add. Guys, are online stores popular in our country? No yet. No. <laughs> for us, they are becoming more popular in uh -huh. Instagram or the social media. Okay. Yeah, and the quarantine has helped a lot with that. All right. So, how do you say emprendedurismo? Entrepreneurship. 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 Emprendedurismo. Entrepreneurs. Emprendedores. Okay. And uh, do you know anybody who's an entrepreneur because of the pandemic or before the pandemic and has an online business? Yeah. Yeah. Would, yes. you, mind, would you mind sharing? Yeah. So I, have, I have a couple of examples. My brother is selling food, Nicaraguan food. My sister is selling fruits and vegetables. I am also doing something online. Um, I have friends making delicious hamburgers too. <laughs> delicious. And uh, everybody is actually doing it. So give me examples, real life examples of people that are entrepreneurs online. Uh, me, Karen? Go ahead. Karen. I, I, am, I am selling right now toys during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, I took advantage because uh, Simang Huguetón was close. Wow, uh huh. And I've been doing good. Interesting. Are you happy with the results? Yes. But it's my second job. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, guys, do you have any questions? Because sometimes I get tired of asking a lot of questions. It's okay for you to model and for you to know how I ask, etc. But I need you too. I need you too. So let me ask a question. Come on, guys. Um, are you selling new or used toys? New. Mm, what kind of toys? Uh, different kind of toys, uh, for example, dolls, uh, uh, cars, from different cartoons, for example, PJ Maxx, uh, Dora the la Exploradora. The Explorer, uh -huh. Dora the Explorer. Uh, Dora Explorer. Yes. And in okay. one toy, in one toy that has been uh, has been uh, successful. Uh huh. It, it's a, a, a pizarra magnetica. A magnetic board. A magnetic board of PJ Maxx. Interesting. So, guys, we have an entrepreneur here. Then, if you have any question, then you can contact her. <laughs> no, no advertising here. No advertising here to anybody. No, but thank you. Thank you for <laughs> for the ad. Uh -huh, for the space. Uh huh. Good. Thank you, Karen. Oh, guys congratulations what about you. you what about you any other but quick like one or two examples real quick me or Nesto. go ahead sir one of my friends uh, he started to sell like uh, sweet bread a pastry pan dulce pastry pastry yeah uh -huh. pastry because he lost his job he was working at iron man oh but uh -huh. he get higher so, but he know how to make bread and everything related to that. So he decided to start his own uh, his own business. Okay. And yeah. Now he's he's selling a lot of things from bread to hot dogs and something like cherry panes also. Interesting. Interesting. I actually have a student that has, I don't know if I told you this, that he has a restaurant and uh, we, we get along, we talk. And suddenly I ask, hey, how are you doing? You know what, I opened a bakery. Oh, interesting. A couple of weeks later, how are you doing with the bakery? Oh, nice, I had to buy another truck because I'm getting a lot of, a lot of orders and we're like, like, wow. So <laughs> the question is this guys, uh, do you think e-commerce will substitute Retail source in the future? This one right here? Yeah, maybe. 
Maybe. I mean, uh, I mean, in, a lot of people always want to have the experience to go shopping mm -hmm. and to go to the place. But I think that in the future, uh, a lot of people is going to buy more and more from from a platform. From a pla platform. La platform. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, my dear friends, this is what we're going to do right now. You're going to have a few minutes, around five, six minutes, in order for you to discuss this in groups. If they are online, for you to talk about a personal experience, if you have it. And what do you think is going to happen in the future? Even these guys. Uh, it was a big, uh, a big, big boom because we were, we were having on-site on classes, right? And now look at us. We are working from home. You are having classes from home. This was not an option back in uh, March, right? So go ahead and accept the invite, guys. Again, are online stores popular in your country? And the most important one, if you think that e-commerce will substitute real stores in the future and why? So any questions? No. Great. Let's go ahead and accept the invite and I'm going to be visiting you one by one between five or six minutes and we'll be back. Andrea, can you hear me? Just there. Oh, uh, when are we going to start the next level? I asked the same question today, girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's not on Monday, right? No, no, no. It's definitely not on Monday. They are still. Okay, we go, We need a rest. <laughs> uh -huh. We need at least <sighs> one, one week rest. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not sure yet um, because Insaforb has to, you know, see if this is actually working, you know, metrics, etc. But I'm pretty sure that they will be letting you know soon. Rocket, hit the topic, girls. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, what was the question? Online store are popular in our country? Online, online store. I think during the quarantine, they, they. They have been growing. They have been growing. And the growing. Uh -huh. They have been growing, but they are not so popular. No, before the pandemic, maybe no. Yeah, I agree with Karen. Uh, most of the like the uh, big businesses, uh, they offer. They always have offered the the service of shopping online like Siman or um, Super Selectos, I think. They have always but offered online shopping. They, they always offered online they shopping. They have always. De la vuelta. They have always. <laughs> they have always. <laughs> uh -huh. what, what did I say? They always have offered, like in Spanish. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Come on, keep it up. Okay. Don't be sorry. Uh, <laughs> how was it? Uh, they... <laughs> <laughs> and here is where you gotta write it down. They have always offered. They have always offered. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. They Keep it up. I'll be back. Offered. Yeah. The business. Uh, the business. Uh, his in, in, entrepreneurship is uh, Bonnie's Pizza. Mm -hmm. uh, he is actually he's working in Nuevo Lourdes. They are so oh. good. They are so good. And for the pandemic, he tried to sell in his product. And He's trying to, or he tried to sell. He tried to sell uh, his product mm -hmm. for WhatsApp. And, and he used the fan page in, in Facebook. Mm -hmm. On Facebook. On Facebook too. Mm -hmm. And 
their products are pizzas, uh, I forget the name of ajos. Garlic. Garlic. Garlic bread. All right, keep it out, guys. You're doing good. Okay. A different kind of place. Yeah, it's not in the same place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Do you feel better? Do you feel better, Amy? Um, so yeah. so. All right. Thank you for being here, and I hope that you get better soon. The weekend is coming, so Thank you're gonna have time to relax. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Ernesto. Yeah. You know right. why. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Keep it up. We still got a few minutes. You know, speed it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe in 20 years, so it's going to be, it could be a different story. But, but retail, stores, retail stores can be here for a, for a while. Yeah, I think e-commerce have, have grown up. Have grown um, that's it. Have, have grown. grown. Ah, have grown. Mm -hmm. Grow up is like uh, madurar. Oh, hmm. So have grown. Um, and, and they can still, how do you say, they can continue growing. So, but, but retail stores, um, I don't think they are going to stop selling. Falling? Cayendo? No. Falling? No, selling. I, that, oh. that, yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. Did the three of you participate already? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Fantastic. Now we're going to be back in a couple of minutes. Let me just check one more group and then they'll, we'll be back to the, to the main group so we can express our ideas. Okay. She, she does that very well because. It's she and her boyfriend, the ones that have that business. And it's online, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's online. They have a fan page in, on Facebook. And they say via Facebook or WhatsApp, I guess. Uh, teacher, how do mm -hmm. you say adaptarse to the situation? To adapt. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one that I would recommend you to handle is always adapt and overcome. Adapt and overcome. Like adaptarse y superar. Adapt and overcome in everything you do. All right. Did you finish? Were you able to uh, express your ideas? Yeah. Okay. Great. Beatriz, Adriana, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Just a few seconds and people will be back. All right, guys. So thank you very much for being back. I need a volunteer. Thank you, Eric. All right, tell us, what do you think so, about this? We discussed about the retail stores and e-commerce, and the three of us, uh, we have the same uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. We think that e-commerce is a good opportunity to sell something or take advantage on some situation. But we guess, or I guess uh, myself, that retail store will be here for a while because mm -hmm. I've been, I, I'm thinking of in books, for example, you can read a books on online, but a lot of people still loves enjoy, uh, reading books on the old school. Mm -hmm. So in my case, I prefer to read a books, go to the library and get the books and read it. And get the book, if you're talking about yeah. one, a book. Yeah, and get the book and get the books and read it. So I guess that that's why I guess retail stores Mm -hmm. We'll continue here for a while, even even though that the uh, e-commerce is a good option. Will be a good option also. Okay, nice. Um, and do you think that e-commerce will actually um, take over? Take over, guys, is for you yes. to I don't know to continue doing 
what somebody else was was doing? Mm, I don't think so. Well, we discussed something about that. Well, in my opinion, I guess the uh, retail store will continue here for at least uh, 15 years or even more. Mm -hmm. Maybe e-commerce in 20 years or more probably probably take over the 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 old school business. Okay. All right. Understandable. Thank you very much. Um, something that I want to highlight, Eric, is that I heard I liked your answer. You gave a lot of information. It made sense. Just focus on this one. You're saying a books, okay. a books, and remember that is going to be if you use the article A, it's going to be singular, a book, okay. just one. Yes. But other than that, I liked your your um, thank you very your much. Opinion. Thank you, Eric. Okay, one more. Thank you, Beatriz, for raising your hand and volunteering yourself as always. Give me your answer, please. Go for it. Okay. Um, we talk about the, in this country now, it online, the online e-commerce is a little. Small. It's only with small, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, we can look online or e-commerce in big businesses like Walmart, Simang, uh, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the platform is more um, adequate. Adequate? adequate? Yeah. Adequate? Appropriate, okay. perhaps. Appropriate to buy online. And the other isn't e commerce, it's like to uh, pay for pay, pay bills. For paying bills. Every pay time bills. that you use for and you have um, a verb, because it's not a verb anymore, it's a noun, you're going to use ing for paying, for selling, paying. for buying, for drinking, for oh, eating. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, for paying bills. And the e-commerce is usual to in retail stores. It's more common in social media. Okay, in the no. social medias. Okay, thank you very much, Beatriz. Um, you can work on that. Guys, remember, this is something super common. Gerunds after prepositions. Go ahead and look for it. Google it, study it, gerunds after prepositions. It might tend to be a little bit confusing, but it's easier than what you think. Okay? Gerunds after preposition. All righty, guys. So um, any other comment that you want to make about this? No? Okay. So let's go ahead and read, and we're going to fix this together. Help me, please. Read the article. Read the article. About the influence of e-commerce. About the influence of e-commerce. In the brick and mortar stores. In the brick and mortar stores. Now, let's go ahead and read it together. Read the article about the influence of e-commerce in the brick and mortar stores. Read the article about the Good. Volunteer to read it, please. Thank you, JC. Go for it. Read the article about the influence of e-commerce in the brick and mortar stores. There you go. Answer the questions below. 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 Careful with this one. It's not answer. It's not a answer. It's with a schwa. Answer. 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 Eh, eh. Answer. Uh. Answer. 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 That's right. Answer. So, despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of business, it's the only is the online only merchants that are struggling. Is the only online merchants that are struggling? Okay, give me just a second. Guys, um, normally, uh -huh. 
so one of you is at work and uh, please try to work with the mute button because I cannot identify who you are. <laughs> and I've been muting a lot of people in the, in the, in the background is still there. So always, you can always give your opinion, but careful with the, with the mute button, especially when it's about pronunciation. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. All but one of the top 10 US retailers are physical change. All but one, but one of the top, the top 10 US, US retailers are physical, physical change. 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 Except for Amazon, the top 10 U.S. retailers are old school brick and mortar retail stores, according to the top 100 retails list from the Stores Magazine, a National Retail Federation publication. Except, Except for, Amazon, for Amazon, Amazon, the top 10 U.S. retailers are old school brick and mortar retail stores, according to the top 100 retail list from Stores Magazine and National Retail Federation. No worries, no worries. In ranking order, they are Walmart stores, Kroger, Costco, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Albertson. Ranking orders. In ranking orders. Okay, thank you. Question, guys. What are the top 10 uh, retailers in the U.S.? Uh, Walmart stores, Kroger, Costco, the one that we mentioned before. Okay. And which one of those, they have a physical chain? Uh, all of them. All of them except one. Amazon. All of them except Amazon. Amazon. That's right. So which one do you think uh, it's stronger right now? The ones that have uh, brick and mortars, which is pretty much physical retail stores, or um, e-commerce? So which one do you think is it's stronger right now? E-commerce. E-commerce from the top 10. Amazon. No, I don't think so, I guess. Uh, it could be one of the the other ones, maybe Walmart. Yeah, with the, with yes, Walmart is, is actually the the first one in the ranking. So this is number one, two, three. That's what it is mentioning in ranking order. So how do you say por orden de ranking? In ranking order. Ranking, ranking order. order. Ranking order. Ranking Very order. good. How do you say todos menos uno? All except all one, one. All but one. All but one. Remember that but, all but one. it is a preposition, but you can also use it like this. Everybody got a present but me. So when you say that is that it makes the, the it is working as except. All right. Now everybody's okay. happy but me. Mm. It's just an example, okay? I'm not I'm not emo today. <laughs> okay. So from this one, guys, as you can see, one of them is e-commerce. The other ones are retailers. So which one is stronger, the retailers or the e-commerce? No. The retailers. All right. Very good. Any new vocabulary right here? Just to make sure brick and mortar is the same meaning of retails or retailers. Pretty much. It's a physical store, brick and mortar. Okay. So when you go to a supermarket, you can have uh, pharmacies. What else? What else can you find in a supermarket? <laughs> but but like, a, like a separate, like a separate uh, business. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh. Area for food. Uh, these, uh, these store, cell phone stores, I don't know, like Lex, kiosks. Uh -huh, like kiosks. That's Bakery. Right. Bakeries. Oh, what happens? Uh, mm -hmm. No, I, I want to see, uh, uh, how do you say veterinaria? The, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a vet. Like, well, a yes. vet or, or a pet shop in a supermarket. Okay. Really? Yes. 
Yeah. Where? It was that, like in the same. That's yeah, it is the same. But that's old school, girl. I remember that that they used to be more popular than now. You can get a lot of animals and stuff. Now you can't. Okay. So um, what can you find in gas station, guys? What other separate businesses can you find in gas stations? ATMs. Pharmaceutical industry. That's right. So you can call that a brick and mortar store. Pretty much mm -hmm. physical locations. Okay. Next one. Say it with me, please. Stores and more profitable. Rewind. Stores, Stores mm -hmm. are more profitable than e-commerce. Say with me, please. Profitable. Profitable. What is the meaning of profitable? Much money. Uh, very good. A lot of gains. Uh -huh. A lot of earnings. A lot of profit. So profit is the money that you earn. Okay? Now, pretty much, I think that that is uh, the money that you got for you. You make more money. After uh, purchases and sales, then you got your profit, your revenue. So let's go ahead and, and read here. Bricks generate higher conversion rates than clicks. Bricks, Bricks generate high higher conversion rates than clicks. clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handling charges and the cost associated with increased returns Eat into margins. As factors, As factors like shipping and handling charges, the cost associated with increase eat into margins. Good. So, um, my friends, what is the the main idea here from this paragraph? That uh, retail stores are still alive. Yes. And what else? Yes, they are, definitely. Uh, uh, retail stores uh, give you more profit. Yes. Just more money. Yes. They produce more money more than e-commerce because the cost of shipping is a lot. Mm -hmm. so I think that that's why. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Go ahead. Thank you, Roxana. Mm, what is margins? The margins, like in Spanish. Mm, Very margin. similar than Spanish. Mm -hmm. Los margenes. So, um, based on these guys, uh, what you were actually talking about is, you've been talking about it for weeks, so you know about this, I'm sure. When do you have more risk of returning something? When you buy it online or when you go to the store? Online. When, when you buy it online. online. And we already talked about the, the most common reasons, right? So yeah. this is one of the things that is actually- uh, Increase and returns the product. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go ahead in the next one because then you're going to answer this question. One question. Go ahead, sir. Just one to know if they could you move the a little bit uh, up the 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 oh no wait 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 no here so they took clicks here like a similar meaning of e-commerce for example in the first light break generate higher conversion rates than clicks so it's a similar meaning of e-commerce because we have to make click in the mm -hmm. platform that's right do you guys know what conversion rate is is, is anybody of you working in sales? No? No. When you... Uh -huh, Gladys? When you are for selling. <laughs> uh, like when a possible client transforms in a person that actually buys, buys the, I don't know, the, the thing that they're per purchasing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Nice, Gladys. Thank you. So that's pretty much the conversion rate, guys. So let's say that you have 10 calls and your company handles a 60% conversion rate. That means that from 10 calls that you take or from 10 customers, you need to make at least six sales. Six, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so you can meet your target. As a company, you must have target. 
do you know any any company that has targets? Call centers. Call centers. <laughs> ah, they have a lot of metrics, yes. <laughs> if you ever want to work in a call center, that's fine. It's easy money. Six hundred, seven hundred dollars, easy. But you got to deal with a lot of uh, conversions, uh, conversion rates, metrics, you know, attendance, etc. Like here, <laughs> with attendance. Okay, so uh, that's what it's telling you that they generate higher conversion rates. So if uh, 10 people arrive to a store, but I don't know, I'm just making up the margin, eight people would buy. And online, it might be six perhaps, or five. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. Good. Guys, do uh, you think- Uh-huh. I don't understand when the, uh, the last, it says it into margins. I don't understand that. Oh, like um, pretty much the cost of the factors like shipping, handling, and returns, they eat into margins. Let's say that you were supposed to earn $10 this month. That was your profit. But because of the cost that you had to return products, then you have you only had seven seven dollars instead of ten como que te está comiendo tu margen de ganancia porque tenés que gastar son cosas asociadas con eso con returns yeah. con handling con shipping todo eso te va comiendo tu margen de ganancia like pacman better now yes all right so guys let's go ahead and read the next one Online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Online, Online retailers, retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. retailers. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge. No, no Walmart, Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge. Buying born in the web retailers. Buying born in, in the web, web retailers. Retailers. Brick merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not a viable retail model. Brick, Brick merchants are buying click merchants, merchants because online, online, online is not a viable retail model. Retail model. All right. So what do you understand with these guys? Nothing. <laughs> okay. What is binge? Yeah, what is, what is the meaning of binge? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever bought something because of an impulse? Yes. Yeah. That's, yes. A, that's a binge. Like this. Like these things of decoration I have right right behind me. I didn't need that. I saw it, I liked it, I bought it, and I didn't need it. It was an impulse. Because remember the beer. I <laughs> uh, don't want to talk about it in a professional environment, but you know, I just liked it. Or yeah. my my girl liked it. I'm gonna blame her. Okay, so that's an impulse. Okay. What else do you understand with this? Because you're going to discuss it. Brick merchants. Brick merchants. Do you know that it's a merchant, guys? Do you know what is a merchant? Mm -hmm. Do you know what a merchant is? Yes. yes. No. Providers, pretty much. A merchant providers. is a provider. Providers. Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning of legacy retailers? What is the meaning of legacy, guys? Legal. Legal. Uh -huh. yes. Legal. yes. So what meaning comes to you when you hear legacy, legacy retailers? Hmm. At uh, a family business or something like that have uh, some history be behind? Exactly. Do you guys know what happened to La Despensa, Don Juan? No. Tell us. <laughs> okay, tell us. Do you know what happened with La Tapachulteca? Do you remember that supermarket? Yes. 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 They bought it. Do you know what happened to Scotia Bank? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So a legacy retailer can be a very strong, I mean, um, uh, 
to every tailor that has been there for a long time they are super strong and they are eating small companies but in this case it's going to be a website websites now what ha i think is this um what do you think happened to whatsapp it was um, bought by facebook facebook yes right. exactly facebook but like all social media everything yes so like we can google with with you yeah. like really i didn't know that yes so pretty much guys the big fish eating the small fish mm. right in, in simple words all right let's continue with the bad, last one bad, bad. <laughs> hey, it, it, it actually depends because you can have your company and you can get yeah, yeah. money for that so yeah. it's like i don't want to work anymore i'm gonna sell my supermarket and that's it yeah mm -hmm. points of view points of view okay no. the last one <laughs> Millennials and Generation Z prefer real life stores. Millennials and Generation Z real life stores. Real life stores. Millennials and Generation Z came of age amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online, right now, se lo voy a partir un poquito, si no, no vamos a terminar hoy. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online, rather than watching television for one Rob, both groups Rob, actually Rob, prefer in-store to digital shopping rather than actually prefer in-store to digital shopping Okay, what do you understand by this guy? Really? I don't. I know that the, the, this technical vocabulary, so let's try to make it easy. Apples uh, and oranges. Uh, Amid? Uh -huh. Amid is like in between, in the middle. Uh, I don't know. I think that maybe they, they enjoy Maybe not the traditional TV shows, but they like to watch Netflix and series and everything. Yes. I think millennials and Generation Z prefers go go to to the stores or to the mall to, to, for shopping. They prefer to go exactly. This is like uh, even... to go out. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. for shopping. Okay. Like, even though they like to spend their time on their phones, tablets, Netflix, YouTube, Facebook, they still rather mm -hmm. going. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All it's right. True. So, even though, guys, uh, I know that this is kind of technical, but you know, we are Salvadorians, we can talk about whatever we want, whether we are <laughs> right or not. Um, <laughs> I have a question which one of you guys are millennials? Me. What is me? the millennial? What? Okay. Okay. Me. But, uh, <laughs> the the generation. generation difference is, is uh, it's different. Each generation is it's different, and you're gonna be talking about it yeah. when you get to advanced. I think it's advanced two or three. I can't remember. So um. I see. Whether I like to accept it or X. not. I am millen I am a millennial because I was born in 1987. So I am still a millennial, mm -hmm. I think. No, 80s is from generation C. I I thought that. <laughs> what is the generation the millennial that you not about the messenger set. C. <laughs> yeah, watch messenger. Generation C. X. X. Yeah. X. Generation X. 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 Thundercats. Yeah. Generation X, Roxana. Ah, okay. <laughs> Generation X. Oh, <laughs> I really hope that you have had a nice laugh dreaming 
right? Dreaming about your generation. So um, we don't have a generation. <laughs> yes, you do. All, all you have to do is Google it, and you're, it's gonna come up. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, don't worry, you're you're amazing, <laughs> you're gonna be talking topic. about Generation X, Generation Y, Generation Z, uh, baby boomers. Baby boomers mm -hmm. and Generation Y. Exactly. You're gonna have time to discuss yeah. that. Here. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, let's go ahead and and finish this thing up. What is the only retailer that is not a physical chain of retail stores? Amazon. 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 That's right. What of the following factors makes store purchases more profitable than e-commerce? Reducing shipping. Reducing charges. 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 Reducing cheap shipping. Oiga, me. Shipping charges. How is Walmart taking advantage of only online retail models? Buying online retail stores. Buying online retail stores. That's right. Who prefers to purchase in retail stores? Millennials. Millennials. Generation Z. Generation Z. Okay. So uh, this is what I wanted to do, guys. Um, I'm going to give you a few minutes, not for you to relax, but for you to find out what is your generation and uh, what are the things that remind you of your generation. I remember playing, playing in the streets. Generation X. Playing football, skating outside, watching Dragon Ball Z, you know, the Zodiac uh, Knights, Caballero del Zodiaco. Yeah. You know, and a lot of things. So in this couple of minutes, I wanted to try to remember what are the things that come from your generation. At nine, we're going to take attendance and do the evaluation. So start getting the, the, the email, start getting the, the link ready. Let's go ahead and accept the invite and find out, Google, what generation are you? Go, 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 go. Accept the invite, please. Andrea, Celia, did you get the invite? No. No? No. Hey, hi, by the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me send it to you right now. There it is. Did you get it? Yeah. All right, rock it. See you at nine. So I'm millennial. <laughs> yeah, I just found out that I am too. Yeah. It's millennials and generation Y. Uh, which one are you? Millennials. Millennial. I hate or millennials. <laughs> millennials. This is exactly why I said it. We all hate millennials, but we are millennials. Yes. So we hate ourselves. <laughs> Complicated, huh? All right. Keep it interactive. I mean, what do you what what do you think that defines your millennial generation? <laughs> Talk about Nothing. it. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> what do you remember of your childhood? Is there any difference with this type of uh, generation? Yes. Yes. There's huge difference. There you go. Then talk about it, girl. To 1980. Okay. Yes. X. Yes. Well, in my case, uh, usually I don't uh, put a lot of attention in this kind of things. Pay. <laughs> I, never, I don't pay. pay, I, never pay. I, 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 I never pay a lot of attention on this. So uh, I have never heard before about Baby Boom until now. Really? Yeah. But you said you are ex. Right. According to this, this is square bit. and because I didn't know to which generation I would belong to, that's why I don't take the time to mm -hmm. look for this kind of things. But it's funny to, to find out something like this. <laughs> yeah, um, when when this millennial thing uh, became popular, 
uh, everybody started talking about the, uh, mm -hmm. the generation classification, right? Yeah. And I think internet is not working because I, I am pretty I think... sure we are millennials. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. Baby. Beer I think you are baby fan. boomer, JC. I think you're maybe no, uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let me see. Or Generation X, baby Generation. boss. Baby boss. Mm -hmm. I'm Generation sorry. X, baby X. <laughs> I was close. Pretty yeah. Close. <laughs> I have the double <laughs> you age. You do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your generation, no, baby, bu baby bust. Generation are... X or baby bust? Mm hmm yeah. Mm hmm yeah. Yeah, baby, okay. baby boomer is before. It's older, older. Aha, uh -huh, it's yeah. more older. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, older, yeah. Huh? Just, just older. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Uh, my 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 friends and I made a uh, Silvador's war. Oh, that was amazing! Yeah, <laughs> and we used the, the the we used tubes as, oh, as uh, canyons. Oh, we put the the Silvador in the in the back part of the tube. In the back of the up, tube. Uh -huh, in the in the in the back of the tube and and light it, and just aim it to the one that we want to to hit. That was. Wonderful times. Sí, yo quemé muchas veces la ropa por eso. All right, keep, keep it in English, sir. Keep it in English. <laughs> Now with the teacher, we is three against one. Wow, who? Why, 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 why? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not fair enough. It's oh. three millennials against one next generation. Oh. <laughs> Who's the next generation, Morena? Or no, for you. Aldo. Oh no, it's, oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah, no worries. That one still has yeah. good things. Yeah, and uh, and also in the in the streets of my neighborhood, there was a lot of almond trees. There were. And with the uh, uh, with the basketball, we we throw it to the to the to, to the, the tree. Uh -huh, to the to the branches. And when they to the branches when they fall just uh, make a a little sacudida no sé cómo se dice just uh, uh, <clears throat> I have to come back to you on that one I just I just slip my mind okay and uh, and after that we just pick from the from the street and ate it and after that with a with a rock we crush it to yeah. to get inside that was five amazing. seconds Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Although I forgot about uh -huh. it for a minute. It is brush off. Brush off, okay. Brush off. Right? Nice. Like I say. Okay, guys. So it's it's 9 p.m. You know the drill. Let's go ahead and take attendance. Everybody camera on. And paying attention, please. Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera. Not here. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Present. Present. Thank you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba, not present. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura, present. Thank you, sir. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández, present. There you are. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites, present. Thank you. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala, present. Thank you, sir. I see you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Thank you, Ernesto. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Thank you, girl. David Orlando Nerio. Not present. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. I see you, girl. Roxana Ometilia Ríos de Quiñones. Present. Present. Thank you, Roxana. Juan Carlos Garcia Laínez. Present. Thank you. Adriana Matriz, 
perdón, ya me estoy inventando el nombre. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Present. There you are. Okay, so you're in the top right corner. Arriba a la derecha, guys. Top right corner. How do you say arriba a la izquierda? Top left corner. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Esquina superior derecha. Top right corner. Top, top right corner. No. Where does Bob Square Pants live? Bikini bottoms. Bikini bottoms. So the bottom right corner. And this one? The bottom left corner. The bottom left bottom. corner. Right, go ahead and write it down. That's very useful, especially for instructions. Abner Alexis Martinez Rivas. Present. There you go. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. Thank you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Alison. Present. Thank you, girl. Celia, Celia Carmina Pineda Avalos. Present. Oh, there you are. Karen Eileen Garcia Benitez. Present. Thank you. And uh, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Not present. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do the, the evaluation right now, guys. Remember, what you're going to do is the following. I'm going to change to Spanish. Vamos a, por favor, abrir un link. Todos tuvieron el mensaje en WhatsApp o en su correo electrónico. Ya me lo confirmaron. Solo van a abrir uno, no es que van a mandar dos. Así que, por favor, solo sigan los pasos que les voy pidiendo. Porfa, please. Open the link, please. You should be able to see something like this. I'm going to be showing it to you. Sí. Vamos a abrir el link ah, y les tiene que salir esta encuesta de satisfacción. Yeah. ¿Todos la tienen? Yes. yes. Ok. Yeah. En esto, guys, yo sé que parece, puede parecer súper sencillo. Ah, una encuesta. Chiche. Sí, pero tenemos que tener mucho cuidado porque una coma, como en la plataforma, una coma que no vaya ahí, malo. Una letra que no vaya, malo. Así que vamos a ponerle bastante atención. So, acá, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca. Será proporcionado por el proveedor, puede copiar y pegarlo. Ese, señores, este, les voy a mandar una... Está en el mensaje, dice... Yes. ¿Ya lo vieron? Sí. Ok. Nombre completo de la orden de inicio con quienes y pleca será proporcionado por el um, proveedor. Permítame. Aquí lo tengo. Permítame. Orden de inicio. Uh -huh. Es la orden de inicio, pero... ¿Qué se me Teacher. hizo? Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, no encuentro el correo. Abajo de debajo, debajo de ah, la, dice datos del curso. En la WhatsApp group is two. Uh -huh. Datos del curso también lo tenemos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Enlace. Ah, 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 uh -huh. Perdón. Inglés corporativo Regal International. Todavía no, espérense, no, no se me adelanten, por si acaso. Ya todos <ríe> pusimos la orden de inicio, copy paste. Yeah. Yeah. Alguien no, no. lo ha hecho. Va. Yo, Relax. Amy, no, no. Aquí, miren. Okay. Como la película Anger Ay, Management. Wey. Gus Frava. Espérense. Relax. No hay ansias. <risa> ok, Gus Frava. Alguien no lo ha hecho. Yo no lo he hecho. ¿Cuál es la orden de inicio? Lo está haciendo en el teléfono. Va a ser donde está el mensaje que, que se les mandó. Ahí dice datos del curso, orden de inicio. Datos del curso. No lo veo. Ni yo. <risa> Ay, qué fecha inició el curso. Bueno, espérame, espérame, espérame. Ahí está. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Datos del curso. Ya. Abajo dice orden de inicio. Ahí está. Sí. Está bien. Vamos a esperar hasta el último de la manada, guys. No nos vamos si alguien okay. no lo ha hecho. Y los que ya lo pusieron, por favor, double check. Que esté bien. Solo quiero confirmar algo. 27 de julio del 2020. <risa> Ay, estaban viendo mi WhatsApp, qué barbaridad. No me acordaba que lo estaba compartiendo. Permítame, que andaba buscando algo. Ok. ¿Todos lo tienen? Ya. Ok, Ok, démosle. Vamos a esperar hasta el último. Relax. 
this Frava. It's the order. It's right. Solo quiero confirmar algo, permítanme. Deme un momento, por favor, please. Mm, en este caso... Vale, entonces tenemos la orden de inicio... ¿Ya todos lo tienen? No, ¿cuál era? Yes. Perdón. Me no, perdón. Se, no, 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 no se preocupen, vamos Muy a esperarlos bien. a todos. Si nos vamos a quedar aquí hasta la una de la mañana, no hay problema. It's Friday. Mentira, tampoco. <risa> ¿Cuál era la puerta? Vale, tranquilo, si alguien tiene un issue, pues... Lo esperamos. Profe, yo no encuentro dónde está el correo. Mire, ah. mire su WhatsApp. Ahí se lo tuvieron Ajá. que haber enviado. Vale, le voy a mostrar una, una... Permítame, solo déjeme mostrar una parte de mi WhatsApp. No lo quiero mostrar todo. Vea, como quien dice. No puedo. Y no, tampoco quieren ustedes. Así que, aquí me señor. Estamos al terminar de llenar la encuesta, nos envía una captura de pantalla. También... Hay que mandar una captura. Sí, yes. sí, sí, sí. Oh, ya la tengo. Espérame, 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 Ajá, espérame, sí. espérame, espérame, espérame. Vaya, solo ves en un cuadrito donde dice buen día, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, si ven todos mis pecados, digo, mis problemas, no me, no, díganme. Entonces, acá, señores, tenemos la información. La orden de inicio, lo que vamos a hacer es literalmente... Copiar en el chat, teacher. Eso, lo, eso se los mandó a ustedes. Ah, en serio. Uh -huh. ¿Eh? Miren en su, en su WhatsApp. No en el chat, en otro, otro. Otro mensaje. Otro número de inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. Tiene el mismo logo de inglés corporativo. Uh -huh. sí, no sé de qué número se los mandaron, pero puede ser del 7488-639. Pero también lo mandaron al chat el grupo que tenemos de, de este curso. ¿Qué no. es? No. Sí. No, se no sí. lo mandaron. No, it's sí, different. Sí. I already no. different. Ah. Vaya, si no. I already no. sent it. To the Ajá. Group. A eso Thank vamos. You, Thank you very much, Alison, for you being so proactive. Okay. So, okay, okay. esa sería la orden de inicio. Nuevamente, traten de copiar así como yo lo tengo highlighted. Copienlo. Para que no se les vaya ni un guión ni nada. Miren que esté completo. Verifiquen dos, tres, cuatro, cinco veces. Como cuando van a dar los datos para el pasaporte o para el DUI. ¿verdad? Y no se equivocan. Aquí tampoco. Y... Lo vamos a poner acá, en el número uno. Aquí les da un ejemplo también de cómo es la orden de inicio. Ay, en qué fecha inicio. Está malo. Espérese, todavía no me han llegado ahí. A <risa> 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 un little bit. A little bit. Who's Frava? I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay, that's a good movie, guys. Watch it. It's with Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson, Anger Management. It's yeah. Comedy. Uh, Interesting. Vaya, ¿ya todos lo pusieron el uno? ¿O quién no ha puesto el uno? ¿Nadie? Okay, entonces vamos a pasar a nombre completo. All right, en nombre completo, my dear fellas, pues, ¿qué van a poner? Su nombre completo. ¿Cómo se registraron? ¿Cómo se registraron? Es que yo ya no me hablo con el papá de los niños y no me quiero quitar el... No. Si usted se registró con ese apellido, pues ese pone. Uh 
Avísenme todos cuando ya estuvo. Ya. Yeah. Ok. ¿Alguien no ha puesto su nombre? Vaya, démosle. Email. Señores, este es el email con el cual ustedes se registraron, con el que se meten a la plataforma. Nuevamente, si lo pueden copiar y pegar, que no le falte punto, como ni migaja. Please. And you let me know when you're done. 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 Okay, good. ¿Alguien más le falta el correo electrónico? No. No. Démosle. Vamos todos al mismo tiempo, ¿ok? Nadie se me adelante. No me, no me dejen atrás. Número celular. Nuevamente, el número celular con el que ustedes se han registrado. Profe, ¿y si ya cambié el teléfono? Esa es una buena pregunta. Con el que ya se registró, creo yo. Déjeme ver, ahorita lo averiguo. Para mientras poner el que, con el que te has registrado. Ok. Uh -huh. Ya voy a preguntar, voy a mandar un audio, sí, es rápido, permítame. Ok, ¿alguien no ha puesto el número de celular? Pero el número lo ponemos de corrido o con guión. Sin guión. Esa es otra buena pregunta. Ahí voy. De corrido. En el correo. Sí, sin guión, dice en el correo. En el correo han mandado los detalles del curso, como tenemos que poner. Ok, ah, pues en el Sí, porque a mí no. Si lo pueden ver. No, si lo pueden ver, pueden... pues mucho que mejor. Uh -huh. Porque yo, a mí no me lo mandaron. Sí, solo copy paste. Copy paste. Muchas gracias con eso. Y este, Ernesto, sería con el que tú te registraste. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya. ¿Ya estamos con correo electrónico número de celular? Yes. Yep. Yeah. ¿Alguien no lo ha hecho? No tengan pena, guys. Si alguien me dice que tengo lento el Inter, pues lo esperamos. No hay prisa. ¿Ok? En el correo también va todo, según me están confirmando. ¿Sexo? Pues masculino o femenino. Van a tener que escoger uno. <risa> Roxy Surfeito. <ríe> no, solo uno de estos dos. ¿Estamos con, con sexo? Ok. Vaya. Vamos con empresa donde trabaja. Yo voy por las 7, teacher. Férense, que vamos por las 6. Empresa donde trabaja. Nuevamente en el correo ahí está cómo tiene que ser. Y es preferible que le dé copy-paste para que pueda hacerlo. Ah, es cierto. I'm sorry, perdón. Nada, ah, que ya lo estaba haciendo de otra forma, pero ya lo vi. Ah, ok. Por eso les digo, antes de, señores, si alguien tiene una duda, antes de darle a enviar, mejor me preguntan. Y si no sé, pues por eso tengo un excelente equipo que me está cubriendo las espaldas. Como Ahí dice en el correo que... que... Que tiene que ir. No me puedo regresar porque lo estoy haciendo en el celular y cuando me regreso me borra toda la información. Eric, sería ah, Comisión Ejecutiva de Portuaria Autónoma Hágame favor. en mayúscula. Ah, ah gracias. Que no se puede Todo en mayúscula. Sí. 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 Y tiene que llevar tilde las, las... tildes. Denle copy-paste para que él lo copie. Si están en la misma empresa, pues póngalo en el chat, tal vez lo pueda ver. El, el chat sí lo puede ver, Eric. Eh, sí, el chat, sí. Va, vale, entonces en el chat démosle copy-paste. Eso es teamwork, guys. Trabajo en equipo, muy bien. Teacher, le puedo dar a las seis, a las siete. Espérense hasta que todos estemos con las seis. No, oh, thank you. Ok, got it. ¿Estamos todos con la número seis? Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, sí, pero una consulta, una consulta, Richard, a mí no me llegó ese correo. Um, pues, Pueden revisar, tal vez está en la parte de spam. En el spam, uh -huh, correcto. A veces. Vaya, y si por algún motivo, acuérdense oh, no. que, que la cosa es terminarlo todo, es que vayamos a la par. 
no le van a dar enviar si no han corroborado con el email. En su caso, Daniel, este, ya cuando usted logre abrir el correo, que lo encuentre, tiene que ser el correo el, con el cual usted se registró, a ese se lo ha mandado. Sí, empresa, ya vale, entonces no le den enviar a menos que ustedes hayan comparado la información del correo con la de la plataforma. Oh. Vaya, quiero ver, vamos a preguntar. Vea, Marcela, ¿ya estuvo? ¿En seis? ¿Afner? Solo me han llegado correos, fichas de confirmación de que ingreso a la, plataforma, a la clase, pero de ahí no tengo ningún otro correo. Ok, hágame un favor. Oh, lo eh, siento, ya lo encontré, ya lo encontré, teacher. Eh, me lo mandó Elena Méndez, aquí está ya. Ah, vale, Elenita. Ok, muy bien. Gracias. Alison, ya estamos, mientras Daniel lo hace. Yes. Aldo. Yes. JC. Yes. Morena. Yes. Ok, lo estaba haciendo con foto y todos se me movieron. Vaya, entonces solo nos falta, solo falta Daniel, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita voy, Ticho. Ok, dele, tómese su tiempo, Gus Fraba, papá, que aquí Yo no creo que voy a, tener, voy a tener problemas con la tilde de la, de la comisión. Ok, copy-paste, si entonces. Copia? Uh, Eric, ¿y si lo copia no le sale? Lo que pasa okay. es que claro. lo estoy haciendo en el teléfono. Y si me regreso al correo del teléfono, me borra toda la información que ya puse. ¿De casualidad tiene algún, algún otro dispositivo que lo pueda hacer? En el, en el chat de, del grupo te lo envié, Eric. Lo que pasa es que creo que no puede copiarlo. Ajá, porque si me salgo me borra todas las preguntas que ya, que ya, que ya llené. Va, entonces, Eric, una pregunta. ¿Usted tiene algún otro dispositivo? O si no, no le ponga la tilde. Aquí me están diciendo, no le ponga la tilde. Está ah, bien. Aquí estoy, en un equipo ahí, detrás de mí, apoyándome en esto. Vaya. También para que no se salga, puede usar el botón del cuadrito donde se le muestran todas las pantallas que tiene abiertas mm, en el sí, teléfono. Así. Puede funcionar. Yo quería ocupar pero eso con ahorita. Facebook, pero siempre me devuelve al inicio. No me sirve. <risa> <risa> ok. Vaya, guys. Entonces, Eric está con el 6. También vamos con Daniel. ¿Cómo vamos, Dani? Copiando y pegando. Estoy todo ahorita nuevamente. Vaya, chivo. Y todo, pero aquí está Chichón ya. Bueno, que aquí vamos todos juntos, no hay prisa. Bien, pegando, pegando. Nada más equivocarme, un correo electrónico también. Ah, no es tan larga, va. No, no. Este y después como 10 hojas más. Sí, tranquilo, que no es para eso. Parece, parece para eso, no es mentira. <risa> Aquellos que hicieron PAE, ¿verdad? No, los que hicimos PAE. Y para los de la, gener para la generación X ya había PAE, Aldo. Nosotros no. la primera. Mientras. Bueno, en mi caso. Teacher, teacher, we, we are not baby boomers. <risa> okay. Vale, espérense. Solo quiero ver algo. Es cierto que no es de contestar. Espero que no estemos molestando a Daniel. No, a ver, a ver, Daniel. Ya estamos, ya estamos de toque. Ya. ¿Seguro? Yes, yes, yes. Respuesta definitiva. Ah, chis, eso es otra cosa. Permítame. Vale, pues, entonces, nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó. Vamos a seleccionar de todos. Regal. Inglés corporativo, entre paréntesis, Regal International. Regal International. Like this. Lo tiene que seleccionar y tiene que asegúrese que quede aquí. Ahora, para los que están en compu, denle clic aquí afuera. No vaya a ser que cuando le den, le den scroll down con el botoncito, con el, la ruedita, les cambie la opción. Cambie. Ok, avísenme todos cuando ya estén. Don't. Don't. All right. Ok, so vamos a ir con la siguiente. Es nombre del curso. El nombre del curso está en el correo. Aquí se los muestro. Cinco okay. no, millas. Cinco millas. Bueno, es, este no tiene comillas. Solo denle copy-paste y asegúrense de 
hacer esto. Miren que no se les pase por si tienen un espacio en blanco, uh -huh. que no vaya ningún carácter que no tiene que ir. Sin, com sin comillas, porque en el, en el, ¿En el, en correo? el correo va con comillas. Sí, está con comillas. Ok, entonces sin comillas, pónganlo. Igual yo voy a confirmar ese, ese detalle. Me pasó algo. Ok, sin comillas. Hola. Sí. ¿Qué pasó, Eric? Hice lo del cuadrito y me regresó todo y me lo borró. Um, vale, entonces, este, ah. quiero ver. En este caso lo que le aconsejo es lo siguiente. Si tiene algún otro dispositivo, vaya a quitarle el teléfono a la esposa, al niño, al primo, al hermano, para que tenga dos. Yes. O si no, quédese conmigo al final y yo le ayudo a usted en particular. Ok. Ok, para que no esté sufriendo tanto ahí. All right, give me just a second. Let me get everything back. Espérenme. O le quita el celular a la esposa. <laughs> Uh, sí, es, sí. más fácil que, es más fácil que solucione cómo hacerlo con el mismo teléfono. <risa> hey, 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 hey. Ya estamos con el nombre del curso. Todos lo pusieron, ¿verdad? Intermedio, sí. bla, bla, bla. Sí. Chivo. Ahora, valora los siguientes aspectos del curso. Aquí es libre. Okay. Hey. Aquí es libre. No lo compartan y pueden poner lo que es como ustedes se sientan. Que eso nos sirve mucho para mejorar. Avísenme cuando ya todos hayan terminado el curso. Vamos bien, muchachones, vamos bien. Con, despacito y con buena letra. Mi mamá me decía eso con la chancla en la mano, por eso lo aprendí. Despacito y con buena letra. No, mentira, mi mamá no me castigaba. Tuvo esa suerte. Fecha inicial. Espérense, todavía fecha inicial. No, todavía no, espérense. ¿Ya todos terminamos con la 9? Ya. Yes. ¿Quién no ha terminado? Tengo una duda. Ajá. Porque en el mensaje de WhatsApp, inglés intermedio, módulo 5, la O está tildada. Y en el correo no. Pues creo que no, importan las tildes. creo que no va a importar la tilde porque se ha mandado. Igual voy a pasar el feedback, permítanme. Me imagino que no tiene que importar la tilde en módulo. Por el momento ya todos terminaron el 9. Yes, yes. Yes. Vaya, vamos suavecito para abajo. ¿En qué fecha inicia el curso? ¿Puedo poner la de finalización? No, nope, la de inicio nada más, por el momento. Y me confirman que no importa la tilde. Okay. Así que está bien. Entonces aquí vamos con fecha de inicio. Mm -hmm. Nuevamente, guys, aquí les estoy enseñando con ambas. Vamos a poner... Voy a pegar. Copy, paste. Para no equivocarnos. Copy, paste. No deja. No deja lo que pasa. Es que tiene que, escribir, es tiene que hacerlo manual. No, manual. Dale en doble clic. A mí me dejó. Ah, dejó. Sí. No. Yo le di en el calendario. No. Igual no yo en el calendario. Fecha. En el calendario se selecciona la fecha. Ay, ¿Vale? A algunos sí les deja pegarlos porque aquí está el cursor, a otros no, si no se lesiona en el calendario. Es muy importante que pongamos fecha de inicio 27 7 2020. ¿Cuál es la fecha de inicio, guys? 27 07 2020. Muy bien. Hagámoslo con el calendario para asegurarnos de que va bien. En el calendario aparece la estructura diferente: 7 27 2020. Aparece estructura en inglés. Ajá. Ok, permítanme. Reporting. Con el calendario, hagan. Con el calendario. Con el calendario. ¿Cómo les da el calendario? 
27, a mí me da 2707-2020. A mí también me que... da en español. No, no hay problema. Quizás depende por la computadora. Ajá. Puede ser. Que le den clip. Mientras ustedes lo hagan con el calendario, están en lo seguro. ¿Ok? Así que todos okay. con el calendario, porfa, con la fecha de inicio, 2707-2020. O viceversa. Pero tiene que ser 27 de julio. ¿Todos terminamos? Yep. Yep. ¿Alguien no ha terminado yep. la fecha de inicio? Vaya, démosle. Entonces vamos, ¿en qué fecha finaliza el curso hoy? 4 de septiembre 2020, nuevamente con el calendario. Vamos con el calendario. El día de hoy. Asegúrense aquí en el calendario de poner septiembre. ¿Ok? No nos vayamos a... a oh, le dan. No, no. Hoy. De este año. <ríe> Porfa, de este ah, año. Abajo. <ríe> hoy. Alejandro, abajo hay un botón que dice hoy. Ah, ¿en serio? No lo sí. veo. Ah, sí, aquí en, está. En el calendario. Se pueden darle ahí. Ve qué interesante. No había visto esa opción. Thank you, Jay-Z. Vale. ¿Estamos todos con la fecha de, de finalización? Sí. ¿Qué fecha es, guys? 4 de septiembre. Entre paréntesis o en comillas hoy. Ok. Vale. Entonces, eh, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Contesten cómo se sienten. Satisfied. Deje de estar dando copia, amigo. Ok. ¿Ya todos le dieron clic a su nivel de satisfacción? Yes. Yeah, sí. Le pongo la, la fecha de inicio. Vaya, chivo, ya ven que es muy importante no bajar a nadie. ¿Cuál es la fecha de inicio, guys? 27, 27 de julio. Uh -huh. 27 de julio. Entonces, eh, 07. ¿tiene la opción de abrir el calendario? Sí. Ok, abra calendario, se va acá a las flechitas para el de julio. Aquí tiene que decir 20, 20 de julio. Y luego ponemos... Eh, 27 le da clic y el sistema o, o, o le da tap esa es otra cosa guys cuando nosotros tocamos nuestros, nuestras pantallas inteligentes el verbo es tap para, para mientras ella lo hace podemos aprender un poquito más tap me parece 7 27 así es verdad sí. 27 okay. de 07 del 2020 ¿Lo tienen, Gladys? Sí. Vale, acuérdense, denle clic afuera, no vaya a ser que cuando le den con el botoncito se los mueva. Antes de enviar, no toquen nada hasta que yo les diga enviar, por favor. Así si pasa algo malo, me echan la culpa. Screenshot. Y ese es el otro, hay que tomar el screenshot. Ok. Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Aquí, por más divertido que parezca, si le... Pero siendo respetuoso y realista, ¿verdad? si usted quiere aprender a inflar globos, póngalo. Si usted quiere panadería, pues póngalo. Tiene que ser usted... disponible. No, no, no. Usted solo diga el curso de, de su interés. Si le interesa el lenguaje de señas, lo tengan o no, así Insafor sabe la demanda de la gente, qué es lo que quieren y, y para que le puedan satisfacer sus necesidades profesionales. Sí. Vale. ¿Alguien no ha terminado el número 13? Ok. Ese silencio me dice que no. Démosle el 14, comentarios. Aquí sí les voy a dar este, un par de minutos para que pongan lo que piensan, cómo se sienten, sea bueno, sea malo. Espero que sea bueno, pero si no, pues pongan lo que es. esta es su voz. Desahóguense. O oh, tiren unos flores, ahí ven ustedes.
No lo hagan en máquina de escribir, oye, en que esto es en la compu. Y capollo. Ajá. Vaya. Yo. ¿Cómo Yo estamos con los comentarios? Güey. ¿Ya? Vaya, alguien me está esperando, me está pidiendo que me espere. Ya. ¿Y a cuál le tomamos un screenshot? A lo último cuando ya le damos enviar. Pero todavía no. Ah, o sea, después de enviar va a aparecer otra. Sí. Usted ha enviado tal Ajá. encuesta a eso. Ah, cabal, pero no le haga todavía. Ok. ¿Ya, ¿Ya terminamos todos con los comentarios? No. Vaya, démosle, tranquilos. Sí. Suave, pero con buena letra. Y, so, y solo será esta, esta encuesta, ya no hay otra. Sí, no, no, ya, ya no hay otra, válgame ah. Dios. Ya, ya no mandan una encuesta para evaluar al facilitador, así como en los cursos. En los anteriores. presenciales mandan. ¿Manda? Sí, en los presenciales manda, ajá, se manda uno. Eh, bueno, en este caso, ya les confirmo, porque sí, acuérdense Pero que en Safor tú... ha cambiado todo. Ah, ok. Sí, que en los anteriores módulos que... Que ejecuté en línea, siempre mandaban también una de, del facilitador. Uh -huh, exacto. Bueno, según me están confirmando, este, esta es la nueva modalidad. Prácticamente, okay. esta es la encuesta. Y nuevamente, si, este, si ustedes tienen algún tipo de feedback, a nosotros nos gusta mucho eh, escuchar a nuestros participantes. Si tienen un feedback en cuanto a la plataforma, en cuanto a inglés corporativo. Yo tengo uno. Eh, lo pueden mandar. <risa> lo pueden mandar um, ya, al mismo número que vamos a mandar el screenshot, que es este, nuestra, la persona encargada de todo esto, el, el área académica. Y créanme que sí, nos hacen llegar el feedback y se trata de aplicarlo. Así que sea sí. buenos. Ajá. Una pregunta, porque en el mensaje dice de que si no se manda el screenshot... ¿Se puede mandar el nombre completo? Al sí, ya, le, ya les explico. Ya les explico eso. ¿Ya todos okay. terminamos con los comentarios? Sí. Vaya, ahora hágame un favor. Aunque parezca tonto, quiero asegurarme que lo hagamos bien. Double check. Comparen, por favor. Vámonos de nuevo hasta la primera. Si esto, pueden estar cambiando entre ventanas, entre su correo y eso, asegúrense que todo esté... Letra por letra, exactamente como tiene que ser. Exactamente como tiene que ser. Y ese que les vibró soy yo. Les he mandado una, un screenshot de cómo tienen que mandar ustedes eso. ¿Ya? Pero todavía no. Ahorita double check. Guardemos silencio. ¿A quién le vamos a mandar eso? Espérenme. Ahorita double check. Ya le contesto. Ok. Did we all double check everything? Yeah. yeah. Vaya. Entonces, yeah. ahora vamos a ir a este botón que es enviar. Espérense. Le vamos a dar clic una vez. O le vamos a dar tap una vez. Y les va a aparecer como el screenshot que yo les he mandado. Y las comillas sí no importan, ¿verdad? No, al parecer no. No, no afectan las comillas. Ya salió. Ok. ¿Todos tienen ya, donde dice gracias, las respuestas se han enviado? Sí. Por favor, no se salgan de ahí, por, por favor. Esa es la cereza del pastel. All right. Entonces, ¿todos saben cómo tomar un screenshot? En el teléfono nunca aprendí. En el teléfono no aprendió. Bye. Entonces, generalmente... En, este en específico. Generalmente, va a apretar el no, volumen no. abajo. Generalmente, volumen abajo... Y en el mío es, es un Huawei, volumen Está abajo y el, bo el botón de apagar. Si es Samsung, creo que el botón de, de abajo y el botón físico que traen en medio. 
a algunos... El volumen abajo y el botón físico. Ajá. Trate. Sí, porque que el otro pasar ya había este... intentado y no podía. Uh -huh. Al mismo tiempo. Al mismo tiempo, that's right. Eh, Hay no. unos que le tiene que pasar los dos dedos así, para abajo. Hacia abajo o hacia arriba. Hacia abajo o hacia arriba. Otros que... Son de tres tiene dedos. Que... O tres dedos, ajá. Este, quiero ver cuál otra modalidad hay. Volumen pasar la, la abajo mano así, y ¿no? encendido. Ajá, cabal, ese es el que él mencioné yo. Le puede pasar la mano así, no sé si me ven. Hay algunos que tienen como sensor de movimiento. Hay otros en los también cuales... los tiene eh, donde, encuentra, donde se activa el Wi-Fi, los datos. Exacto. Aquí. Ah, es cierto. Vale, y si no le sale, pues nuevamente... Vaya a pedirle el teléfono prestado a alguien, que le tomen una foto. No tiene que salir usted, solo que, que diga mensaje enviado. Y pues a lo old school. Miren la foto así. <ríe> que no salgan ustedes. Ajá, cabal. Gracias, Aldo. Vaya. ¿Todos tienen ya el screenshot? Sí. sí. ¿Quién nos falta? ¿Solo More? Solo yo peleando acá con el Samsung viejito. Vaya. ¿Qué, qué modelo de Samsung es? Si no podemos... Vaya, vamos a ocupar los recursos. How to, y a, y a... Tiene que, que presionar la tecla de bajar volumen y la de inicio al mismo tiempo. On a Samsung. Haga eso y si no, yo estoy googleando. Me apaga la pantalla. Pero hágale de un solo. No, es que es, que sí. es la tecla de bajar volumen, no la de, no yes. la de apagar pantalla. Sí, sí. Pero oh, pero, Pruebe al mismo tiempo la tecla de subir, bajar y, e inicio. Ajá, en la pantalla que le quiere tomar foto. Eso es muy importante. O sea, que salga el gracias y ahí es donde le tiene que dar. Ajá, y dice, luego de eso, bueno, well, en English, afterwards, press and hold the home plus the power button together. Entonces va a ser ah. el botón de home y el botón de power al mismo tiempo y manténganlos tiempo. hasta que les le salga ahí que he tomado el, el screenshot. Tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. No voy a ir a la escuela vieja. No, nah, don't worry. Una vez le enseñé a un estudiante cómo, cómo tomar un screenshot en She 75 de lo que siempre les hablo. Después de un par de horas lo logró. Así que, if she could do it, you can do it, Morena. Entonces, nuevamente, el botón de power, que generalmente está acá, y en el Samsung está acá abajo. Y de un solo. Cuenta tres, y los uno, dos, tres, pac, y los mantiene apretados. ¿No le funciona? No. Vaya, vaya a conseguirse otro teléfono mientras yo veo qué solución darle. El problema es que perdí la pantalla. No. En serio. Y no sé ni cómo porque no recuerdo haberle dado cerrar. Vaya. Usted ¿Y tranquila. Ya me voy a quedar con usted, ya me voy a quedar contigo, Morena, para abierto. Y también no este. Mambe, no llore. Pero cosas hemos hecho. Ok. So guys, ya que ustedes tienen el screenshot, um, siempre que ustedes mandan una foto, les va a aparecer cuando le dan seleccionar y enviar, no la envíen todavía como en la preview, le sale un cuadrito abajo donde ustedes pueden poner un mensaje. ¿Saben de lo que les hablo? No. ¿Sí? No, ok. Um, vamos a hacer algo. Seleccionen el grupo. Tienen dos opciones. O lo mandan al número que les sale ahí. ¿What? ¿Quién me dijo eso? ¿Quién me está hablando? No entendí. Bye, guys. Entonces, este, tienen dos opciones. O lo mandan. Ok, vaya, voy a quedarme contigo, Morena, después. Voy a quedarme contigo para darte, para darte instrucciones. Entonces, tienen dos opciones. Lo pueden mandar al siguiente número, guys. Y ahí sí tienen que poner, bueno, los dos tienen que poner su nombre. El siguiente número es el 74... 8-8-6239. 7488-6239. O 
lo mandan al grupo en el que estamos todos, en el G24. ¿Cuáles son las instrucciones? Van a darle, van a darle tap al, ¿cómo se llama? Al pequeño, ¿cómo se llama? Al pequeño clip, ¿sabes? como que van a mandar cualquiera. Le dan a la galería. No le puedo enseñar mis fotos, pero espérenme. Teacher, pero si estamos en, en la compu. Tiene que abrir WhatsApp web. Pero oh, no importa también. si sale el contorno, o sea, porque yo estoy en la compu, pero me, obviamente me sale toda la pantalla, no, no importa. importa no importa, ah. Mientras salga, gracias, la respuesta se ha enviado. Entonces, esto es lo que yo les menciono. Quiero ver cómo le hago para que se vea. Ahí está. Aquí abajito hay un cuadro de diálogo que si ustedes lo tocan, se les va a activar el teclado. Entonces uh -huh. aquí ustedes van a poner su nombre completo y les va a aparecer... No sé si ven mi dedo, creo que no. No, aquí está. Acá van a poder poner su nombre completo. Entonces van a poner... Es? Sí, por ejemplo, Alejandro... Bueno, no lo, no lo puedo mandar yo, pero... Alejandro... No sé. Me lo voy a mandar para que lo vea. De igual forma, eh, si la estamos en la computadora y tomamos la impresión de pantalla, podemos recortar la imagen a que solo diga... El logo de Instaform y gracias de su respuesta ha sido enviada. Sí, sí, sí. Si no quiere que se le vea el, el, el fondo de pantalla de, no sé, de Barney o algo así, no hay problema. Si quieren más privacidad de todo. Pero que salga todo lo de Instaform, toda la página que dice gracias. Ahí yo les mandé un ejemplo de cómo se tiene que mandar. Yo les recomiendo que lo manden al grupo con su nombre. Entonces al grupo está a donde estamos todos. Es mejor al grupo. Si no, okay. al otro número. Yo lo mandé al número, teacher. Ok, está bien. ¿Le puso su nombre completo como se inscribió? Sí. Ok, ya me cayó Isabel, Alison Isabel Alfaro. Muy bien. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Gladys. <risa> Ernesto. Y M. Ah, Gladys, y dale. Ahí está. Vale. ¿Alguien más está teniendo algún tipo de issues? Yo solamente estoy escaneando el teléfono para... Porque la hice en la computadora. Mm, ok, ok. Entonces, estoy abriendo WhatsApp. That's fine. Take your time. Beatriz, Adriana, ya lo tengo. Aldo Sade Castro, muy bien. Oh, unos dicen thanks, otros dicen gracias. That's good. ¿Quiénes lo han mandado al otro número? ¿Solo Karen? Solo Karen. Ok, so de los demás espero que caiga acá. Juan Carlos, Daniel Edgardo, Celia Carmina, Eric Arnaldo. Me carga. Abner Alexis. Excelente máquina Royal. Mm. <risa> Los que vivimos en esa época nos acordamos que si apretábamos varias se trababan. No. Sí. Ah. Y después era bien bonito estar despegando todas las letras con los dedos todos negros. Cabal. Y había que sacar la hoja y era la última hoja de la, de la, del trabajo y volverlo Fácil. a hacer todo. Me sale. De hecho, por eso es que tenemos los QWERTY phones. Así se llama el tipo de teclado que, no, que generalmente ocupamos en las compus. Si se fijan las primeras letras de arriba a la izquierda, dice QWERTY. Así se llama, QWERTY keyboard. Y era para que las letras no se pegaran entre todos. Si no, creo que lo hubieran puesto en orden. So that's why. The, according, to, according to Wikipedia. Uh -huh. Teacher, I need to be off in five minutes. Who said that? Eric? Okay. Eric, 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 yes. Bye, guys. ¿Ya todos lo mandaron? ¿Alguien falta? ¿Alguien tiene problemas? Yo todavía estoy intentando. Ah, démosle. Entonces me voy a quedar eh, con, uh, con Roxana, take your time. Y okay. solo quiero ver, díganme a quienes no he mencionado. Perdón que haga tanto énfasis en esto. Alison Isabel, díganme si no los menciono. Marcela Beatriz, Andrea del Carmen, Gladys Idalia, Ernesto Antonio, Beatriz Adriana, Aldo Sadi. Jay-Z, Juan Carlos, Daniel Edgardo, Celia Carmina, 
Eric Arnaldo, Abner Alexis, Amy Melissa. ¿A quiénes no he mencionado? Morena no, te, no lo he mencionado, Karen no lo he mencionado y Roxana. No. ¿Y todos los demás? Ok. So, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for this. Um, before we, we pretty much finish up, have you tried doing the, um, the test? ¿Quiénes han tratado? Yes, I already finished. Yes. Ok, great. So, let me ask you in particular. Karen, you finished. Ernesto? Uh, no, I haven't finished. Ok, Roxana? Sí, ya lo terminé. Got it. Eric? Bueno, creo que él se tuvo que retirar. Sí, iba por cinco minutos, dijo. Ajá, that's right. Celia, you got it? The, the test? Yeah. Gladys? No. Okay. Melissa? I haven't tried. Yet. Okay. Y Abner? Chat, lo I'm sorry. Go ahead, Roxana. Eh, lo tenemos que enviar a los dos números o solo al del grupo? Solo a uno. Solo al grupo. Acuérdese que cuando le dé enviar, ponga su nombre justamente abajo, en la misma imagen, no en mensaje aparte. Ya, ya lo puse. Ok, Roxana, I got it, confirmed. Um, Andrea Martínez. Almost finished. I only have one answer that is not correct. So. Ok, thank you very much. Morena. I finished. Ok, thank you. Daniel. No, no te chepto, ya no. Ok. So, in this case, guys, um, so pretty much we are done. This has been the, the, the course. And um, quiero que sepan que el día de mañana tengo que, tengo que, a las 12, tengo que mandar sus notas. Ok. Acuérdense que necesitan el 80% para poder pasar. No es necesario, la verdad. Pero yo prefiero que, eh, que me manden a mí un screenshot de su último porcentaje, del progress, ¿ok? Un porcentaje de, a, a mi número así y de la misma manera con sus nombres completos para cualquier cosa hay inconveniente, aquí está la prueba, ¿ok? Now, in this couple of minutes, guys, um, we're just gonna review how to do the test para los que no han terminado. Igual, la clase termina en 10 minutos, 11 ¿Quién se va a quedar conmigo de 10 a 10 y 10? No estoy viendo la, la pantalla ahorita, así que necesito que hablen claro y fuerte. Ajá, who's going to stay with me? Any questions? Teacher, ¿a dónde? No, Perdón, no, yo, I'm sorry. Ajá. Eh, teacher, eh, vamos a enviarle el progress, dijo, ¿a qué número? Al mío. Al grupo. Bueno, yo preferiría que el mío, pero porque esto no okay. es requerimiento en SAFOR, eso lo estoy pidiendo yo for, por si acaso. Okay. Just in case. Okay. Just in case. Okay, thank second. Okay, so I already did it, guys. Let's go ahead and review the test. Piensen quién se va a quedar conmigo. I need one more person. Solo una, no se peleen por mi tiempo. Okay, so let me share this with you. <laughs> Para los que ya terminaron, ¿tuvieron algún inconveniente? No, this time the plat platform, it was... Bien cortado. How, yeah. do you, how do you say sin errores? Ajá. ¿Y en una sola palabra? Flawless. Flawless. Fla a flaw is a falla. So flawless is sin falla. Sin falla. Mm -hmm. Flaw. Very good, guys. So in this one, in part one, what you're going to do is just click the right answer. Okay. <sighs> Here, in this part, you're going to continue clicking the right answer. <laughs> so that's it. You see, it's easy. Yeah. Part number two. 
por cierto, yo me voy a estar quedando ahorita que terminemos, que termine la sección con el voluntario que se va a quedar conmigo hasta las 10 y 10. Right? Este, me voy a quedar durante 20 minutos hasta las 10 y media para que lo hagan conmigo. Guys, porfa, ya hicieron todo, no muramos en la orilla. Te ven hace unos 20 minutos y terminen hoy, porque mañana es paz. Se les pega la cobija, se levantan al mediodía, ya no lo mandaron. Tienen que trabajar, no lo van a mandar. Así que, porfa, los que no han terminado, quédense. Y me mandan el screenshot ahora, por favor. Aquí vamos a tener... You're, you're going to be working with tag questions, guys. Vamos a trabajar con las tag questions. Ya tiene esto la coma y ya tiene esto también este, el, el, el question mark. Me acaban de mandar confirmación. Mándenme, por favor, la foto del progress porfa, si pueden hoy en la noche, para yo tener, poder cotejar, ¿ok? Aquí está lo que yo envié y aquí está lo de ustedes. Si hay un error, están salvados. ¿Ok? So, en esta, solo, sin comas, sin nada. Here, you're going to be selecting the right answer to. Selecting the right answer, you see, this is a piece of cake, guys. Selecting the right answer. And uh, number four, selecting the right answer, like this. Okay, any questions about this? No. No? Okay, guys, so uh, pretty much this is it uh, for the next seven minutes before we, before we go. I just want to reinforce, um, I'm, I'm getting a couple of uh, progress things to my phone. It's fine, but please, I, I already got approval because like I said, this is no no process. Este no es proceso en Safor, así que porfa, mándeme el progreso al grupo con su nombre completo, porfa. Traten de hacerlo ahora los que ya terminaron. ¿Al grupo o a usted? No, al grupo. Acabo, acabo de, de, de obtener autorización, pero obviamente cuando tengamos el 50%. ¿Ya? Cuando tengamos el 80%, o sea, ya cuando hayan terminado, no ahorita. Los que ya terminaron, por favor, mándenlo. Al grupo, no a mí, perdón, ahí estoy cambiando lo que yo ya les había dicho. Este, por favor, mándenlo al grupo. Ajá, muy bien, 98%. Roxana, eso. <risa> The first of the class. Entonces, ¿a quién se lo mandamos, teacher? Al grupo, por favor, al grupo, al G24. Let's go. G24, no, hombre, todavía no, espérese, no tengo nada. Manda el progreso, inglés. Mm -hmm. Send the progress, please. I just want to make sure that you close your group, your, your oh. progress correctly. ¿Dónde están las gráficas? Oh. Solo donde están las gráficas. Quiero ver, alguien ya lo mandó. Al grupo. Oh, I send it to you. Teacher, I'm sorry. No worries. More, you stay at the 100. Eso es yes. el 100. Okay. Mm -hmm. bueno. I have a question. Go ahead. I already finished the final exam mm -hmm. the last time that I was with the meeting with you, mm -hmm. but I can send it. It's not allowing me to click on next. Uh, I'm going to double check it with you in particular. Progress. And also I have the same problem with, I mean, with the part on section two, is it still not working? Okay. All right. If you want, uh, let's go ahead and uh, you can stay with me. Uh, I have, who am I going to work with? With Morena and with Celia then? And with yeah. Eric perhaps because I he's, think. he's off. Eric. Uh, I'm here now and I finished the uh, survey. Okay. Great. Okay. So, guys, um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you very much for your patience. I know that this um, this material is very specific. That's why it's called English for Work program. However, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for you to improve your pronunciation, your vocabulary, for mm -hmm. you to defeat your nervousness. And um, if you really want to learn English, don't go, don't cut corners. Don't do it a lo chambon, okay? There are a lot of places, and this is my personal opinion I'm talking about on behalf of Alejandro Narbona, not on behalf of uh, Inglés Corporativo or INSAFOR. 
there are a lot of places that they tell you you can learn English in 10 months. And that's true. But not entirely. Okay? I have been in places that they are super good with grammar, but they are not good at speaking. I've heard of places that are super good at speaking, but they are not good in grammar. In 10 months, you can defend yourself like a seven or eight year old boy or girl. So this is a never ending process. Like whenever uh, finish learning Spanish, there's always new vocabulary. So um, don't cut corners, make sure you are proactive, make sure you practice a lot of exercises, repetition. The one that I recommend you the most is play, pause, repeat movies, music, not reggaeton because that's not even good for even learning Spanish, but if you like it, that's fine, not a problem, but make sure that you do it in English, okay? So in the next three minutes, this is all for today, but you gotta stay. Anything you wanna add? Any comments you wanna add? Thank you, teacher, for everything. Uh, great. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Teacher, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, um, uh, can I speak in Spanish? <laughs> Go ahead, no problem. Este, a mí no me permite la plataforma. Este me permite, me da el, el chequecito en verde hasta mm -hmm. después de haber visto el video completo de la clase. Entonces, esta última clase, tengo que esperar hasta que suban el video y como ver el video completo, algo así, para que me, me dé el chequecito verde. Y si le da fast forward, a mí digo. Porque a los demás no les pasa eso. Los demás no les pide que vean el video. No. no. Dele fast forward. O sea, dele... A... Ah, no, es que no está subido el video. Ok, guys, para cualquier tipo de cosa así como le está pasando a Gladys, hablen conmigo justo ahorita. O sea, después que termine la clase, quédense conmigo para yo poderles ayudar hoy en la noche. Ok. Que mañana me voy de vacaciones y aparte que no voy a estar, así que quiero terminar el todo en la noche. Right? Me merezco un fin de semana en una piscina con una carnita asada al lado. All right, good guys. So, anything else? Comments, questions? Epopeya, moraleja. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand very well how to make the last homework. Last homework. Yeah. Alguien más tiene issues con el last homework? No. No. All right. Um, just a minute. What number, Alison? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm no. loading it. No, it's uh, that. I don't understand. I have to use just the words. Furthermore, besides in addition and moreover. Give me a second. What? It's gonna be four point nine. I'll be there. It's loading. Okay, it is still loading. Um, in the meantime, like I said, it is already time for you to leave. It was my pleasure working with you guys. Thank you very much for doing your best. Um, thank you for following the rules. Try, respect, don't be sorry, and keep on learning. Hope to see you anytime soon. All right? Who's going to stay with me from now until 10 10? Me, in my case. Here's my problem. Okay, wait until 10 10. Give me 10 minutes so I can fix this. I'm going to work with you personally. So who's going to stay with me? Me, Alison. All right. Who said it, Alison or, or Marcelo? I was asking you if we are going to make the exam with you. I mean, I'm going to be here uh, if you have any questions. I, I won't give you the answers, but yes, I'm going to be giving yeah. you full support. Hey, teacher, what, what is the meaning of this? Or I do not understand this. Okay. So or guys, we can share the 10 minutes. Not really. Okay. It's it. No, but no. 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 Okay. Uh, so, guys, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to stay with Addison. After 10 10, I'm going to be on WhatsApp helping you out. It was my pleasure. 
Continue doing Bye. your best. Don't Bye. cut corners. Bye. Get out of here. Bye. 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 Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Can we continue here? Yep. Yep. We're going to stay here. Okay. okay. So um, tell me, Alison, what can I do? Well, uh, the thing is that I don't understand the last homework. Maybe. Okay. I don't, I don't know. No nah, worries. Just the Easy word. fix. I can, I can help you with that. Yeah, you have to write down just the words. For example, moreover, besides, moreover. Oh, it's like they don't have a comma between them. So I thought that there were just two. Furthermore, besides, in addition, and moreover. No, no, just go ahead and, and, and write it down. If you want, do it with me on the, on the, on the conference to make sure that it goes through. Okay. Well, the first one is email marketing is very important to e-commerce. Mm. Yeah, customers usually open their emails and if they only include uh, their title. I will try with more over. Okay. Mm. Second is, is create a lot of original content. In a dish, no. mm. you're very close. In a dish. So this just have in addition, just need the two or is that Spanish? What do you mean? The second one create a lot of original content. In addition, make sure to diversify your presence in social media. Mm -hmm. well, I'll try that. Yeah, you can just, uh, as a matter of fact, you already mentioned the answer. Okay. Well, the third one, user-generated content is a good way to build interaction with consumers. 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 Um, give me just a second while you do that. It's raining and my towels are out. Give me a minute. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Normal world problems, I'll be back. Yeah. Right, I'm back. Well, I get all the answers. Okay. And uh, how are you doing with the with the progress? Um, now I have a one hundred percent. But mm -hmm. in the how in the hour from week mm -hmm. two I have a a problem with the homework two point four thing because I have an answer that is supposedly wrong, but it's not wrong because I have it okay. right in the midterm but not here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I know which one you're talking about. The second would type in reported speech. Mm -hmm. The answer is she told me they have gone out last night. The period, and that's the answer I had in the mirror's term. But here, it's wrong. Okay, I'm getting there. As soon as my internet allows me to, <laughs> I'll be able to help you out with this thing. Yeah, 
I wanted to complete it because I know it's right. Because I already have the almost all the I know that feeling. Okay, yeah. so uh, I'm here. Which one? We got five. Which one is it? It's the second one. We went out last night. She told me. Yeah. What do you have? She told me they have gone out last night. Period. And it's mm. marked as wrong. Yeah. Go ahead and change it. Instead of uh, it is correct, okay. I mean, grammatically speaking, but she told me they had gone out, changed it for the night before, okay. and tell me if it goes through. Okay. No. No. Do me a favor. Paste in the chat. Let me see if there's a last thing. The answer that you're entering. Well, actually, it worked. <laughs> nice. I just, I just add. Added. So I added a period. And it was wrong. Then took it away. Then put it again. Put it back. Yeah. So now you got a hundred percent in two point fourteen. Yes. Fantastic. All righty, girl. So um, now you got 100% in the platform, right? Yeah, I'm going to send it to the group right now. Okay. I think I'm going to have to charge my phone. All right. Let me know when you send it so I can go ahead and confirm it. <laughs> okay. I already sent it. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So it is confirmed that uh, that you have completed Alison Isabella Yala Alfaro 100%. So congratulations. I really hope that you have been able to learn something new today or uh, yeah. throughout the course. Is there anything else that I might be able to help you with? Any question, grammar, vocabulary? Yeah, a question. Uh, for what you said before, we all have passed the course. The ones that have completed the 80% and have uh, oh. also completed the uh, with attendance. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Attendance and is very, very pass? important. Uh, or are you going to send us like a list or something to know if we pass? You should be able, you know, you should be able to download the. Yeah, you, you're good. You got. I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to share the, the details that I have with you right now, or that's up to administration. But. All I can tell you is don't worry about it. And I am going to ask, normally in this type of, uh, of program, you can actually download the, the diploma, but I'm not sure. Let me go ahead and ask, give me a second. Because nobody actually asked that before. Give me a second. Okay, so um, I went ahead and send the and send the question. Let me see if they they answer anytime soon. If not, I'm gonna write to you. I'm gonna text you as soon as I get the answer. Oh, or you can put it on the group chat so everybody will know that. You can kill two birds with one stone, girl. Yeah. Good advice. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Anything else, my dear Allison? Mm, oh, teacher. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So um, just keep on doing your best, okay? Thank you. Mm. I'll see you around. Okay. It was a pleasure working with you. Have a good night. Good night.